we're going to talk about the devastating news that came out this week for comic book fans from Disney and Sony. They're not agreeing with each other, uh, which means that we might lose Spider-Man. And right at the top, I got to say, this is a this is a very key example, a very prime example of what happens when two corporations that want to make a profit that's all they care about. They, they only care about making a profit. So what they don't care about is creating a, a, a really good story. The art, the fans, the, 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 the character. Um, they don't care about any of those things. They care about making money. And this, is a, this situation is very evident of it, right? Like, who loses out at the very end? It's the people on the ground floor. Right, the people on the ground floor that care about Spider-Man, that have invested themselves in that character, that have grown up with Spider-Man comic books, Spider-Man television series, that had the action figures that support this sort of shit, right? Um, we're the ones that might end up losing out. So, uh, here's what's going on with with Sony and Disney, right? They had a they had a sharing agreement. Uh, with Spider-Man, which is why we got Spider-Man Homecoming and we got Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, and why those movies were as good as what they were, because there was a sharing agreement. So basically the sharing agreement was that the solo movies, um, the, the profit is, 95% of the profits goes to Sony, and then they also get the merchandise, because it, it's, it, the intellectual property technically still belongs to Sony. And anytime Spider-Man is used in uh, a bigger team-up movie like uh, Civil War, Infinity War, Endgame, um, any sort of future Marvel MCU movie, uh, then all of it goes to Disney. All of whatever comes out of that goes to Disney, right? So what Disney came out and said was, we want to relook at the sharing agreement because now the intellectual property that that Disney owns, that or that sorry Sony owns, that Disney and Marvel were kind of producing and taking creative control of, to help Sony make a shit ton of shit ton more money. They want to split it 50-50. Uh, it didn't really say what the merchandising situation would be. Like, I don't know if the merchandising would be a part of that 50-50. But, if you're fucking Marvel, you might as well just let Sony have the merchandising. Because you have so much fucking money at this point. So, uh, Sony flat out said no. And then they were just like... We want to keep it at the 95.5 with the merchandising deal for our intellectual property. Uh, and Disney was like, y'all can go fuck yourself. And uh, that's where it is. So right now, what the limbo is, there's a bunch of different stories that are being reported about this. Uh, one saying that they'll still have to make a third Spider-Man movie because they're contractually obligated to you to to make another Spider-Man movie with Marvel by contract in order to keep the intellectual property the way it is. Others are saying that there was no discussion about that and um, like Sony doesn't have to do anything which means that Spider-Man is done in the MCU. Here's the thing guys. Fucking billions hundreds and billions of dollars are at stake for both these companies. And there is this massive fan backlash towards towards Sony mostly because Sony has fucked up Spider-Man for a really long time and it seems like Feige knows what the fuck he's doing with the character, right? So what's the best option? How do we find a middle ground? Obviously, we came to a 50-50 that was countered with a 95-5 those are, that's like, we're, we're going crazy with the negotiation. Best option, in my opinion, is uh, you work out a 60-40 split, 60 to Sony, 40 to, um, to, to Disney. You work out merchandising, right? You let Sony keep the merchandising for the solo films, but 
Marvel and Disney get all creative control as to what happens with the story, how the characters are used, um, and uh, all of the casting and directorial stuff. That would be a fair way to deal with it. Sony and Marvel still get to make a fuckload of money off of this. The fans get to see the best Spider-Man, which is Tom Holland, continue to be the best Spider-Man with really good fucking Spider-Man stories and his integration with the um, larger, you, you know, MCU. Because at this point, Peter Parker and Spider-Man are too integrated into that universe. To, to just be like, well, he's gone now. Where'd he go? What the fuck happened? What shitty, dumb thing are you gonna say, right? And, you know, because... Look, a lot of the fans are also are younger kids. Younger kids are watching these movies, right? Or, or, or it's like just regular old fucking moviegoers are watching this movie. These movies. They're not like hardcore fans. In fact, some of them are specifically only fans of the movies that are watching it. So they don't understand what the politics of uh, intellectual property in terms of cinema are, right? Like that's for super heavy fucking nerdy people like like me and my friend Vincent Didiano who I'm sure will be addressing this on his show P.O. Vincent which I highly recommend everybody go check out but right now here here's why I think Disney can take a little bit of a hit in, in terms of like how they can share that intellectual property they have a monopoly on entertainment they just do. They have a fucking monopoly on entertainment. They just got Fox. The only thing they haven't been able to buy out is Universal to get Hulk 100%. Right? Like, Hulk is also a borrowed character. They can't, they can't convince Universal to give up the rights to Hulk. But they, th that Fox merger just went through. Which means they acquired a fuck ton of shit from Fox. Not just the X-Men, not just Fantastic Four, and Galactus, and Namor, and Silver Surfer, and, and a breadth of fucking other characters, right? They acquired The Simpsons, everything on FX, 21st Century Fox, 20th Century Fox, all of that shit came through with them. And they, they became major stakeholders of Hulu now. So now their Disney Plus shit is going to be a part of Hulu, which means that their streaming service doesn't become a standalone streaming service, much like what DC did, and that way they don't have to, like, lose money on their customer base. For, for people to just join to get the, you know, watch the Falcon and Winter Soldier show and WandaVision and Loki and the What If series that's all part of phase four now if you have a fucking hulu subscription maybe just pay an extra three dollars a month and boom you got disney plus and you got that entire fucking thing that's all fucking right there they got a monopoly on the entertainment industry a monopoly on it so you know if i were kevin feige i'd be looking to what what serves the, the needs of the fans a little bit more and essentially fight for creative control of that intellectual property. That's what I'd do. Just go into it and be like, all right, guys, if you're not going to take a 50-50, take a 60-40, take the merchandising and give us the creative control. That's a deal that seems fair. The other thing that uh, somebody brought up to me uh, the other day was... Um, what if Sony just wants to be bought out like Fox? What if Sony's not doing well, um, or as well as they would like to, and if they get bought out by Disney, I mean, it doesn't help the monopoly aspect of things, right? With Disney, like, Disney's still gonna be a crazy giant fuck, fucking monopoly, but what if that's what Sony wants? So this counter offer is essentially them playing hard to get, and uh, trying to see if they can buy for more money for Marvel. And if that happens, then Marvel gets the entire Spider-Verse back, which means that they'll be able to roll over all of the Spider-Verse movies that are being done right now and take complete control of, of, of all of it. 
and then Sony gets to have a huge fucking cash out. I don't know. Uh, the story is not over yet, and I don't think it's gonna land on them just being like, well, fuck you guys, and walking away from it, because there's way too much money left on the table, and there's way too much fan backlash left on the table, too. So it's like, why would they leave all that money and all that fan backlash? Both companies will end up losing a specific amount of people, because I, I guarantee you, even if Tom Holland is in it, there will be a specific amount of people that will not go see a Sony, a solely Sony produced Spider-Man movie is part of that trilogy because nobody has faith in Sony to make a good Spider-Man movie anymore. You fucked up the Andrew Garfield one. It was all over the fucking place. You fucked up the, the Tobey Maguire one. That got, became all over the place. You didn't really know what to do with the character. And Kevin Feige and the rest of the MCU team do. And they've proven it twice over. So it's gonna and, and it's gonna land on what Tom Holland wants. Everybody that's part of that franchise now: Tom Holland, um, Zendaya, um, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Keaton, John Watts, the director. All of those people are gonna have a say as to like what they want to do with that that property, right? Like they're invested in it as well. And if it's this studio bullshit battle. And, and it does get left where it is right now, which is, like, we have no idea if we're ever going to see Spider-Man in another fucking Marvel movie ever again after we, after we reinvested ourselves in it. It just proves that, once again, I mean, this is a, this is a low-stake version of it, kind of, because it's just, like, entertainment, in a, in a sense, right? It's a, it's a, it's, it's, we're talking about movies, not talking about, like, healthcare, right? Like, whenever two healthcare giants go to battle with each other, people's lives are literally at stake. This is more of the entertainment value of, of things and us invested in the art that, that speaks to us. And I'm not downplaying it. I'm just saying, you know, it's a little bit difficult to compare and contrast those things. But, but on principle, it's the same thing. It's two corporations going to battle against each other and, and who's left at the end? Who, who's, who's, left, who's left dealing with the fucking backlash of all of them? You know, when two countries go to war, who's left dealing with the backlash of all of it? The people that live there. That's who it is. And that's where it is now, you know, like. And protest it. I would say if you're a comic book fan, if you're a big nerd, if you're a Spidey fan, protest that shit. Fucking let them know. Let them know where you stand, you know. Because there's going to be a bunch of people that won't go see it, and they don't want, and they don't want to lose any money. Neither party does, so that party's going to need to come. The both these guys need to have to come to a fucking amicable resolution. That at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's going to be a profit-driven motive. But that profit-driven motive has to be driven through what is best for the actors, for the crew, for the director, for the story, and for the fans. That's where it needs to be. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. Uh, these are little clips from a little segment I do called Road Reflections, where uh, I go live on my Facebook page uh, and talk about current events, creativity, uh, touring, what's going on uh, in my life. So if you enjoyed this kind of content, you can go and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Krish Mohan. Ha ha. Uh, I'm also performing live stand up comedy all around the country. If you enjoyed these uh, little snippets of socio political commentary, uh, it's very similar to what my stand up comedy is. You can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com for all of the show dates and tickets. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and if you want to continue supporting DIY, independent, socially conscious comedy content, you can become a patron today. I don't have uh, any corporate sponsors or any small business sponsors just yet. So at the moment, I am people-sponsored. I'm sponsored by you guys. So you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha and become a patron today starting at only $2 a month. You can check out all the tiers and rewards. 
Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.